Welcome once again to another edition of Take a Step. I'm yours truly, the quiz master, Moses Humphrey. Take a Step is a program designed for students in secondary schools to test your knowledge on general subjects. And we have two handsome young men with us in the, uh, right here to play for who will take the most steps on the program today. Please put your hands together for Abe Ojumi Rire. And he will be competing with Aloku Josiah. <laughs> we'll take a quick break. When we come back, our students will be out here to play the crossword puzzle. And they will be taking steps after answering questions when we come back. Take a Step is a production of NTA Educational Television. NTA Educational Television. Promoting learning. All right, so we have uh, Ojumi Riri and Josiah playing the crossword puzzle and then taking steps as they provide answers to questions asked. Why don't you take a step? You have 40 seconds to cross as many words as you can find. Pick up your markers. Your 40 seconds starts now. So flip and start crossing. The words you're looking for are right beneath the chart. You're looking for words like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. Days of the week. Cross as many as you can find within the shortest time possible. Tick tock. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. 40 seconds ticking away. Your time is up. Time up, put down the markers. Let's count here. One, two, that's one, two, three, four. Put your hands together for him. And over here we have one, two, three, four. Put your hands together for him as well. <laughs> All right, so I'll be starting off with you, Josiah. Why don't you take a step? You are to complete each sentence with a word that best completes it. So do listen very attentively to the questions as they come so you can provide answers timely before the bell goes okay all right so we have questions one to five pick a number two. question two josiah it was about 20 years ago that the couple dash married a r b got c is got got married right answer put your hands together for him Go ahead, take the step out on the red. Your question now. Question three. Question three. Ada will come for the examination tomorrow and Dash will Jacob. A, also. B, neither. C, so also. So also. So also, right answer. Put your hands together for him. All right, congratulations to you. 
You've taken the step already. Your question now. Question five. Question five. There were dash pupils in the school than I expected. A. Lesser. B. Fewer. C. Some few. Lesser. Lesser the wrong answer. The right answer is B. Fewer. You don't use lesser for human beings. So your question now. Question four. Question four. How I wish the excursion dash undertaken A has been, B where, C would have been. Has been. Has been undertaken. Right answer. Put your hands together for him. Now take the step. Good. Congratulations to you. And so we finish up with English. We can, we now go on to mathematics. Why don't you take a step? Pick a number, Josiah. One to five. Two. Correct zero point three seven four eight to two significant figures. Options are A, 0 0.30, B, 0 0.38, C, 0 0.37. B, 0 0.38. 0 0.38 is your answer. That's the wrong answer. The answer is 0 0.37. Your question. Question three. Question three. Simplify two over A plus seven over B. Options are A, two AB over A plus B. B, two B plus seven A over AB. C, A over A plus B. B, two B plus seven A over AB. Correct answer, two B plus seven A over AB is the right answer. Put your hands together for him. Go ahead, take the step. All right. Your question now, Josiah. One. Question one. From this series, two, one, one over two, one over four, what number should come next? A, one over eight. B, one over three. C, two over eight. One of our eight. One of our eight is the right answer. Put your hands together for him. <laughs> Go ahead, take the step. Congratulations to you. Your question now. Question four. Question four. What is the mean of the following set of numbers? Three, six, six, seven, five, three. Options are A. 3, B, 5, C, 4. So please, the options. Options again. A, 3, B, 5, C, 4. C, 4. C, 4. Wrong answer. The right answer is B, 5. We now move away from mathematics. We now go on to biology. Why don't you take a step? Moving on to biology now. How do you play? Pick a number. Two. Two. Which of these products obtained from analyzing sweat from skin is not an excretory product? A. Dust. B. Urea. C. Water. Urea. Urea, wrong answer. Dust is the right answer. Your question now. Question three. Question three. All living organisms dash A, transpire, B, photosynthesize, C, feed. Feed. Right answer, put your hands together for him. <laughs> Take the step. Congratulations to you. Your question now. 
One. Question one. A farmer, X, working in a swamp, did not eat any food nor drink any water. Which of these diseases can he not contract? Let me take the question again. A farmer, X, working in a swamp, did not eat any food nor drink any water. Which of these diseases can he not contract? A. Malaria. B. Cholera. C. River blindness. River blindness. Wrong answer. The right answer is cholera. <laughs> you contract cholera, uh, cholera from what you take, food you take in, or things you get into your mouth. Your question now. Question four. Question four. A member moves by means of A, pseudopodia, B, cilia, C, flagella. Pseudopodia. Right answer. Put your hands together for him. <laughs> Go ahead. Take the step. Congratulations to you. We now move on to economics. Why don't you take a step? How do you play? Pick a number. Two. Question two. People unable to repay their personal debts will be declared bankrupt or dash by a law court. A. Creditors. B. Insolvent. C. Debtors. Debtors. Wrong answer. They will be declared insolvent. <laughs> Your question now. Question three. Question three. To start a business... An entrepreneur needs what? A. Labor. B. Land. C. Capital. C. Capital. Capital, right answer. <laughs> Take the step. Congratulations to you. Your question now, Josiah. Question four. The public listing and sale of new shares in a company is called what? A. The public. the public listing and sale of new shares in a company is called A, flotation, B, marketing, C, sales. Flotation. Flotation is the right answer. <laughs> Go ahead. Take the step. Congratulations to you. You can chair up now. Yeah. Okay. Your question now. Question one. Question one. Arbitration may be necessary to settle industrial dash. A. Disputes. B. Peace. C. Harmony. Disputes. Disputes, right answer. Put your hands together for him. <laughs> Go ahead, take the step. Congratulations to you. We move on to vocation. Why don't you take a step? How do you play, Josiah? Question three. Question three. Horticulture deals with garden crops and medicinal crops as well as A. As well as dash. A. Grains. B. Trees. C. Ornamental plants. Ornamental plants. Ornamental plants is the right answer. Put your hands together for him. Take the step. All right, good. Good. Your question now, Jimmy Rear. Question four. Question four. Banana, plantain, mango, papaya, and pineapple are all A, tropical fruits, B, temperate fruits. C, vine fruits. Tropical fruits. Tropical fruits. Put your hands together for him. <laughs> Take the step. All right, good. Your question? Question five. Question five. The primary way horticultural oil kills insects is by dash them. A, infecting them. B, suffocating them. C, soaking them. Suffocating. 
Are you guessing? No. Suffocating them is the right answer. Put your hands together for him. Go ahead, take the step. Okay. Your question now. Question one. Question one. Horticulture is the science, technology, and business involved in intensive dash cultivation. A, trees. B, plants. C, grass. Plants. Are you sure? Yes. Not trees? Yes. A, trees. B, plants. C, grass. Plants. Plants. Plants is the right answer. Put your hands together for him. Go ahead, take the step. Congratulations to you. Um, we move away from vocation. We now move on to profession. Why don't you take a step? And this is the very last part of the show, really. So, Josiah, pick a number. One, two, five. Two. Question two. We're looking at medicine. All right? That's what we're looking at. BMI is a medical term which means what? A, body movement instinct. B, brisky muscle intercellular. C, body mass index. A. A, body movement instinct. Wrong answer. If you were to pick if you were to answer this one, what answer would that be? Please BMI. Please the options. The options. The options are A. Body movement instinct. B. Brisky muscle intercellular. And C. Body mass index. Body mass index. Body mass index. Yes. Why? It made more sense. It makes more sense. Okay. Well, body mass index is the right answer. Now to your question. Question three. Question three. Which of the following doctors specializes in the treatment of diseases of the liver? Is it A, hepatologist, B, hematologist, C, dermatologist? Hepatologist. Hepatologist. Yes. Final answer. Yes. The bell hasn't gone, so you have a chance. This will determine whether you take a step or you stay where you are? Hepatologist. You're sticking to hepatologist? Yes. Hepatologist is the right answer. Put your hands together for him. <laughs> Go ahead, take the step. Good. Your final question, Josiah. Question four. Question four. A doctor who specializes in the study and treatment of medical problems of infants children and adolescents is called what? A. Podiatrist. B. Pulmonologist. And C. Pediatrician. C. C. Pediatrician is the right answer. Put your hands together for him. Go ahead. Take the step. All right. Great. Your final question. Question five. Question five. The full meaning of C and S as it is used in the medical parlance is what? A. Circus symptom. B. Caesarean section. C. Clavitus symbol. Or cherubim and seraphim, if you want to add that one to it. Clavitus symbol. Clavitus symbol. Final answer. Yes. Clavitus symbol is the wrong answer. The right answer is Caesarean section. Put your hands together for them. <laughs> Let's meet in front. Why don't you take a step? And that's how it's been on Take a Step today. Um, I'll have you guys fist bump. You know, I know you can't shake hands because of physical distancing, but hey, fist bump, both of you. That's okay. <laughs> All right, so this comes to you, Cutsy NTA Educational TV, saying thank you for coming, thank you for participating on the program. And this goes to our winner, Abe Ojimiriri.
Congratulations to you. All right, thank you for coming. Thank you for participating on the program. Well, Take a Step makes a return same time next week. But before I go, do remember that you can be part of the show. You can watch our shows on YouTube. Just visit and like, follow at NTAETV, and you'll be part of everything going on right here. My name is Moses Humphrey. I leave you with the words of Robert Frost, and he says, Never be bullied into silence. Never allow yourself to be made a victim. Accept no one's definition of your life. Define yourself. Bye for now.